It had been too long since Dina last saw Maria, the all-powerful Diwata who powered the land through her faith in and love for humanity. With Maria, the forests were green, the seas were blue, and every street in every village flowed with joy and abundance. But no one was happier than Dina, and no world was more colorful than the one she shared with Maria. The reign of the Bertuga had forced her to retreat. Where to? Tina was unsure. Every dark corner, every alley, everywhere she went, there was less to live by, but somehow always more blood to shed. Where there been feasts long ago, the soldiers now marched, guns raised and eyes wild and red. In the streets, it was every man for himself. But in the palace where the Verdugo sat, he and his friends were united in their greed. Despite Maria's absence, Tina remained steadfast in her love for her, as she believed that this is what would bring her back and unseat the Verdugo. Many times she had been told that in a land like this, their love was useless, that it was wrong, and that there would be dire consequences, that she should give up and move on. But there were believers like Tina, people who loved like Tina, and one day they all appeared in the streets, armed only with their fists and flowers. The commotion drew soldiers in, but it also encouraged other people to join. There is no end to this story, not yet. To this day, the people have held their ground and will continue to do so even as Tina and Maria find each other and until hatred and selfishness are overcome by love.